Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my opinion of what are the three best and three worst things about Great Wolf Lodge. Okay, first I want to tell you, Great Wolf Lodge, if you're not aware, is a family-friendly water park resort. Most properties have both an indoor and outdoor water park. There are actually 20 Great Wolf Lodge properties. Two of them are in the Northeast United States. Seven of them are in the Midwest, including the property that we've spent the most time at, which is the original Great Wolf Lodge property in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Four of them are in the South. There are five on the West Coast and one in Niagara Falls, Ontario on the Canadian side. So you have plenty of Great Wolf Lodge properties to choose from. As far as I know, most of them have a lot of very similar qualities. They vary a lot in size. They're gonna vary in how many activities they have, how big the water park is, but the theming and the general feel of the resort is gonna be the same. We have stayed at two of the Great Wolf Lodge properties, the one in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, and the one in Bloomington, Minnesota. They're very different from each other in size. The Great Wolf Lodge property in Wisconsin Dells is much larger than the one in Bloomington, and the water park is much bigger. But interestingly, there's actually more other activities at the Great Wolf Lodge property in Bloomington, Minnesota than there are at Wisconsin Dells. If we had to pick, I think we actually like the one in Bloomington, Minnesota a little bit better. And I made a video where we compared the two of them and I will link that right up here. I also have videos on my channel of tours of that property in Bloomington, Minnesota and tours of the room. I also have video tours of the Great Wolf Lodge property both before and during the pandemic. They're some of the most popular videos on my channel, so be sure to check those out when you have time. We have stayed at Great Wolf Lodge many, many times. I honestly don't even think I could count how many times we've stayed there. So we have a lot of experience staying at Great Wolf Lodge. I did also consult with my kids before I made this video. This is kind of the agreement that we reached about what these things are. Okay, first, let's talk about what we think are the three best things about Great Wolf Lodge. Number one, there's always deals. And I made a video about how to get great deals on a water park resort, and I will link that right up here. Okay, unlike Kalahari, which I'm also going to be making a video about, Great Wolf Lodge always has some kind of sale or special going on. You can always get a good deal at Great Wolf Lodge. You do need to set up an account with Great Wolf Lodge, but it's super easy. It doesn't cost anything. Go ahead and set up an account and then they will show you all the specials that they have and they have a lot of them and they are going all the time. There's never not a sale or special at Great Wolf Lodge. Number two, best thing about Great Wolf Lodge is lifeguards and I guess I would put it in the general category of safety overall. And the reason I say that is because we were particularly impressed with the steps that they were taking to protect their guests and their staff during the pandemic. And to see what I mean about that, be sure to check out this video that I filmed when we walked through Great Wolf Lodge in Wisconsin Dells during the pandemic in the summer of 2020. But all of the time, ever since Great Wolf Lodge has first opened, I have always, especially as a parent, been extremely impressed with the lifeguards at Great Wolf Lodge. They're obviously very well trained. They are extremely attentive. They enforce the rules. And Great Wolf Lodge is the one place where I have actually seen lifeguards dive or jump into the water to help someone. And I think I've seen it more, more than once. I've also seen them do training with like mannequins and little fake babies and things where I've seen them training in the water to keep their skills up for their lifeguard skills. So I've always been very impressed with the lifeguards and how Great Wolf Lodge works so hard to keep their guests safe. Okay, the number three best thing about Great Wolf Lodge is we feel that of the big water park resorts, Great Wolf Lodge is the most family friendly. And I always tell people if you have younger kids, I would say, you know, even middle school and below, and even going down to like preschoolers or toddlers, 
If you're trying to choose a water park resort, if you have younger kids like that, I always recommend Great Wolf Lodge. They have a lot of younger child friendly stuff in the water park and they have nightly story time. They have characters, you know, just like you'd see like at a Disney theme park or something. They have their own licensed characters that come out and interact with the kids and they have a lot of things like crafts and just really cool kid friendly and family friendly activities. It's definitely a very wholesome environment, a very family-friendly atmosphere. I highly recommend Great Wolf Lodge for families. Okay, and then because we like Great Wolf Lodge so much, we couldn't stick to just three for this one, so I have an honorable mention. Now, this, however, is just my opinion. And I did compare these in another video that I made, but I'm not sure if I have enough room up here, and that is the theming. I just particularly, personally, really like the theming at Great Wolf Lodge. I like that North Woods, woodsy theming. I just really like it. And a friend of mine actually said one time that her, she knew someone who didn't want to go to Great Wolf Lodge because she thought that they had inappropriate depictions of, like, Native peoples. And that may have been the case early on, like, a long time ago when they first opened, but now these days, I really don't see that as being an issue. I think that they're very sensitive to that. And I think that they've taken it away from that and more toward just like the woods and wilderness and nature and animals. The characters are all animals and they're supposed to be like kind of like park rangers. So it's, it's not having anything to do with native or tribal peoples anymore. So I just really enjoy the theming. I think it's very pleasant and cozy and it's just really nice theming and I really like it. Okay, I actually had a little bit of trouble coming up with three worst things about Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs> I had to go online and see what other people said to add a last one to my list. Okay, the first worst thing about Great Wolf Lodge that I came up with was a lack of dining options. Especially when you compare at least the Wisconsin Dells properties with Kalahari Resort, there's definitely far fewer dining options available on the property itself at Great Wolf Lodge. At the Great Wolf Lodge in Wisconsin Dells, there's only one, two, three places to eat. There's one like table service sit down restaurant. There's one grab and go. And then I think like in the water park itself, there's like one pool bar, if you will. And I'm not sure if they have food at that or not. So the ability to get a variety of different dining options within Great Wolf Lodge's property itself is challenging. However, at both the Great Wolf Lodge properties I've stayed at, the properties are set in a location where there are many, many restaurants right around them, even within walking distance to some extent. So depending on which property you're talking about, that obviously could be different. But I've, I've found that most Great Wolf Lodges are built in a pretty popular tourist area anyway. And so you're probably going to have a lot of dining options close by, but you just might be have to be prepared that you're, you might have to get in your car and drive somewhere to go eat. Okay, the second worst thing about Great Wolf Lodge is there can be a lot of extra charges. And I'm particularly thinking about their program called the Paw Pass. And they're definitely going to try to push the Paw Pass on you a little bit, especially when you check in. It's advertised everywhere. There's posters for it in the elevator and in the hallways. It's right there on the desk when you check in at the front desk. The Paw Pass is like a lanyard with a paw <laughs> and there's different levels of it and it's mainly for kids but adults could use it too and there's different levels and they give you different benefits and it will include things like whatever extra activities that particular resort has you know to be able to do those things and then it'll be things like they they have kind of a version of Build-A-Bear where you can stuff your own stuffed animal and buy outfits for them and things. That'll be one of the things on there. Tokens for the arcade, special treats in one of the restaurants, things like that. So 
the paw pass is a, an extra charge thing. Now, you don't have to get the paw pass to be able to get those things. And I have found personally that sometimes you don't need all that stuff or your kid's not even going to want all those things. And so if you price it out and, oh, we just want to do this and this, it's oftentimes going to be cheaper to pay for those things individually. So just be aware that there are a quite a few extra charge activities. For example, at Bloomington, all of the activities like bowling and the ropes course and panning for gold and all of that stuff, those are all an extra charge. They're not included with the price of the resort. The one thing you do want to be aware of, though, is the water park itself is always included in the price of your stay. And at Great Wolf Lodge Properties, only guests of the resort can use the water park. So that's a big benefit at Great Wolf Lodge that you won't have at, say, Kalahari, is that the only people that are going to be using that water park are the people who are staying at the resort, and it's always included. But the other activities within the resort are going to cost extra. Okay, and then the third worst thing about Great Wolf Lodge that I came up with, and I do remember this being an issue for me at least one time, is it can be noisy. Water parks are always going to be a little bit noisy. That's not what I'm talking about. What I mean particularly is that sometimes the rooms can be noisy. And again, this is going to depend on the property. I can tell you for one thing, the Bloomington property was originally built as a Radisson and it was later purchased by Great Wolf Lodge and transformed into a Great Wolf Lodge. And because it was a little higher end hotel before that, I think the quality of the construction and the walls and the doors are a little bit thicker. And so that property was very quiet. But I can also remember staying at Great Wolf Lodge and being very annoyed by neighbor and hallway noise. And that's what a lot of people mentioned online about a negative about Great Wolf Lodge properties. And I think that has to do with two things. I think that has to do with the quality of the construction and lack of soundproofing, if you will, in the buildings themselves. And so you're able to hear your neighbors, you're able to hear people above you, you're able to hear people going by in the hall. And depending on where your room is, there can be a lot of traffic going by in the hall. So that might be something you wanna consider if you wanna request a specific location for your room where there might be less hallway traffic. And then the second reason for this is sometimes parents let their kids run a little wild when they're at a place like that. <laughs> I guess that's the nicest way I can say it. And the one time I got really upset and actually ended up calling the front desk and they actually ended up sending security was because some child near me was literally opening and slamming the door over and over and over again at like one o'clock in the morning. It was horrible <laughs> and we couldn't sleep because of that. And you'll get a lot of like running kids and screaming kids and doors opening and closing. Not all the time. I mean, most of our stays have been completely fine and that's never been an issue. But it has the potential to happen. And people did mention it in the reviews that I read online. So be aware of that, that that is a potential issue that you could face. So that's what I came up with for the three best and three worst things about Great Wolf Lodge. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. And if you like this video and appreciate content like this, please be sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Have a great day, everyone, and safe travels.